Now the Obama campaign is trying to make the argument that Governor Romney only won last night because he lied. But if you want to be president, you owe the American people the truth. When there's a bill that ends up on my desk as president, you, the public, will have five days to look online and find out what's in it before I sign it. is setting social media on fire. Former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin quickly taking to Twitter. She tweets, Obama lied to the American people again. He said it wasn't a tax. Obama lies. Freedom dies. Now, back in Congress's hands, Congress has opportunity to act on this tax as this has been deemed a tax as opposed to Obama's insistence that it wasn't a tax. And Absolutely, it's a tax. It's nearly a trillion dollars worth of tax via levies, fines, tariffs, if you will, whatever anybody else wants to call them. This is a penalty. It is a tax on the people. It's a tax on states. It's a rating of Medicaid funds, which will result in, ta in uh, states having to find other funds to supplement their Medicaid budgets. Overall, this is about a trillion dollar more tax put on the, on the American people. Do but if you want to be president, you owe the American people the truth. We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Because when I'm president, meetings where laws are written will be more open to the public, no more secrecy. That's a commitment I make to you as president. I'll make our government open and transparent. But if you want to be president, you owe the American people the truth. And as president, I'm going to make it impossible for congressmen or lobbyists to slip pork barrel projects or corporate welfare into laws when no one's looking. In this race to take, tell the lobbyists in Washington that their days of setting the agenda are over. They will not work in my White House. It's when lobbyists set the agenda, and that's why they won't drown out your voices anymore when I am President of the United States of America. But if you want to be President, you owe the American people the truth. So let me be absolutely clear. If you are a family, making less than $250,000 a year, you will not see your taxes go up. Shovel ready was not as uh, <laughs> shovel ready as we expected. The key is whether or not we've got priorities that are working for you as opposed to those who've been dictating uh, the policy in Washington lately, and that's mostly lobbyists and special interests. We've got to put an end to that. My administration has a job to do as well. And that job is to get this economy back on its feet. So I, I, I've been a little amused over the last couple of days where people have been having these rallies <laughs> about tax, taxes. You would think they would be saying thank you. Start a new program? Go ahead. But you've got to cut another one to pay for it. But if you want to be president, you owe the American people the truth. That's how we'll make sure we're spending your money wise. I am a, a believer in knowing what you're doing when you apply for a job. The question is, how are we going to make sure that people are getting back to work? Jobs must be our number one focus in 2010. As president, 
That's my commitment to you, to do everything I can to make sure our economy is growing, creating jobs, and strengthening our middle class. But if you want to be president, you owe the American people the truth. Not a day goes by that I'm not focused on your jobs. I'll continue also to fight for what the American people care most about. New jobs, higher wages, and faster economic growth. From fundamentally transforming the United States of America. But if you want to be president, you owe the American people the truth. Now, if Obama is reelected, well, <clears throat> we will be a fundamentally transformed country, as Obama promised us when he was a candidate, that he was hell-bent on doing to us. We're heading down that road now. This Obamacare mandate, this decision that was made today, heck, Obama even proposing it and ramming it through uh, and down our throats through Pelosi and Reid's um, uh, embracing of it, that's a harbinger of things to come. So if Obama is reelected, well, America, you will no longer recognize the country that today you truly love and, and can enjoy all of its freedom and prosperity and security if Obama is reelected because this Obamacare is a harbinger of things yet to come. But I also promised that I'd fight every single day on behalf of the American people and the middle class and all those who are striving to get in the middle class. I've kept that promise. And if you'll vote for me, uh, then I promise I'll fight just as hard in a second term. But if you want to be president, you owe the American people the truth. This is, a, uh, this is an important election, and I'm concerned about America. I'm concerned about the direction America has been taking over the last four years. I, uh, I know this is bigger than an election about uh, the two of us as, as individuals. It's bigger than our respective parties. It's an election about the course of America. What kind of America do you want to have for yourself and for your children? And there really are two very different paths that we began speaking about this evening. And over the course of this month, we're going to have two more presidential debates and a vice presidential debate. We'll talk about those two paths, but they lead in very different directions. And it's not just looking to our words that you have to take an evidence of where they go. You can look at the record. There's no question in my mind that if the president were to be reelected, you'll continue to see a middle class squeeze with incomes going down and prices going up. I'll get incomes up again. You'll see chronic unemployment. We've had 43 straight months with unemployment above 8%. If I'm president, I will create, help create 12 million new jobs in this country with rising incomes. If the president's reelected, Obamacare will be fully installed. In my view, that's going to mean a whole different way of life for people who counted on the insurance plan they had in the past. Many will lose it. You're going to see health premiums go up by some $2,500 per, per family. If I'm elected, we won't have Obamacare. We'll put in place the kind of principles that I've put in place in my own state and allow each state to craft their own programs to get people insured and we'll focus on getting the cost of health care down. If the president were to be reelected, you're going to see a $716 billion cut to Medicare. You'll have 4 million people who will lose Medicare Advantage. You'll have hospitals and providers that will no longer accept Medicare patients. I'll restore that $716 billion to Medicare. And finally, military. The president's reelected, you'll see dramatic cuts to our military. The Secretary of Defense has said these would be even devastating. I will not cut our commitment to our military. I will keep America strong and get America's middle class working again.